I'm going to show you how you can make a payment to the Barbados Revenue Authority. First, I'm going to show you how to generate an electronic payment advice in Thomas. I'm going to show you how to use Easy Pay and also what other payment options you have. You will log into Thomas and you will go to the modules at the top and you will hit account and make a payment. No. Sometimes in Thomas, for those how your registration would have been, some persons are missing the account module. What you can do, you can contact our contact center and just speak to the officer, let them know that your account tab is missing. You just need to verify, give them your web user and your, Nash, and your Thomas stain in order for, for verification. Just make sure that they're looking at the rare account. And it's as simple as that. What you will do then, you'll go to account and you will click make a payment. As you can see here then, what is going to show up, it will show you your outstanding balances will be listed. In this scenario, this person owes $1,730.32. Next, you will click the orange button, make a payment. Let's say you have more than one payment outstanding. What you can do, you can click the view details button and all of your outstanding balances will be displayed. The next page now is going to show you the outstanding balances. Say for example, in Ms. Phillips' presentation, she would have filed the personal income tax for the year 2020 and the person would have had a payable, let's say of $1,000. As you would know, you pay half the balance by April 30th and then the other half by September 30th. As you can see here, there is a select button. You will then go and select, let's say you just want to pay the half first for the April 30th, you will select the April 30th balance using this button right here. But for this, for this purpose, this person only has pay what E for 2020 January outstanding, and the balance is $575.13. In this second box, as you can see here, the information is also repeated, but we understand the times which we are going through right now. And let's just say that for right now, you can only pay on time, let's say $300. You can go into the second box, remove the 575.13, and then you can key in the $300. As you see right here, we have selected a payment advice. But what is a payment advice? A payment advice is you're telling the cashier, I have this amount of money, either be it cash, be it check, or be it card. And I would like to pay to this account, to this tax period, and to this year. As you can see, as I mentioned, we have cash, we have check, we have card. We can use one, we can use two, or we can use a combination of all three. In this case, I'm going to go through each one with you. So we've selected cash. It has cash amount, Barbados, the amount here. So you will enter the amount. So let's say you're paying all in cash, you will enter the $300 there. And you would deselect check and deselect card. But let's say you also want to pay part, you want to pay by check. You will select check, the name of the account holder, you will enter here, the check number, you will enter here, the bank, you will select from the listing, and then the check amount. Let's say you want to enter your card, you will select your card amount, you'll write the name on the card right here on the name of the card slot, and you'll enter the card amount. What the system will do, the system will tell you how much you have the card amount or the cash amount or the check amount entered and you will have the amount to pay here. Then you will go then and you will click your submit button. What will happen is you will receive a confirmation email from us and it will also show as well the same time on Thomas, your payment advice number. And in this case, the number is 122567. We have selected cash and we are going to pay the full amount, which is 575.13. Now, for example, let's say you would have picked check. 
and you don't have time to save in the cashier's line. What you can do at the back of the check, you will enter the tin, you can enter the tax amount, you can enter the obligation, which should be the tax obligation, and then you will also enter, you also put on the back the payment amount. And you can then drop it in the box at our Bridgetown location, you can drop it in the box at our Holton location or our Oysters location. What then the cashier is going to do, the cashier then will enter the information and then you will receive your receipts. Next, I'm going to show you the Easy Pay platform. The Easy Pay platform is government's platform for payments. We come back again, we go to account. And in this case, this individual owes 105,361.43. This page looks familiar. Yes, because it's the same page you will see as though you wanted to generate a payment advice. You will hit make a payment, or if you want to see the itemized outstanding balances, you can also do that with the view details button. In this case, as you can see, we will hit the easy pay button. You come here now and you press easy pay. In this example, the individual is going to pay $12,150. In this case, this individual, Ms. Jo, sorry, Ms. Jane Doe, she's going to use her credit card. Also, just know that for a direct debit option, you'll be directed to the easypay.gov.bb website to register and validate your account. You will have to create an account on EasyPay. You will start your registration process. Then you will download our authorization form, whereby then you will take it to your bank. What, does, what do you have to take it to your bank for? You take it to your bank so they can validate your banking information on the form, just to make sure the information that you have on the account is absolutely correct, so that the right amount of money will come from the correct bank account. And then you will come back to the EasyPay website and you will upload the information and you will complete your registration. But in this case, this is the credit card information. So you can go straight ahead and pay via your credit card. We have Jane Doe, she has entered her credit card number, exp expiration for the month, the expiration for the year, and the CVV number. As you all know, this number is the three digits on the back of your credit card. And then you will also enter your billing information, just like any other website. What other options do we have? outside of the easy pay. There is also in person for cash and card only. And as I said, we have the Bridge Street Mall, we have the Pine location, we have the Oysters location, and we also have the Whole Town location. There's also the K Shepherd card mobile app and the Shore Pay online for the land tax as well. And then the easy pay for, and the Shore Pay for any licensing transactions that you will.